All right, welcome in to the First State Bank Breakfast with Benefield. Coach, last night was a big one for you personally. It was your 300th win. Now, we, we talked about that a little bit last week. Um, you got a win 49 to 20 at home versus Sylvania, a tough region opponent. But let's take me back to last night. Let's talk about the 300th win. Well, it's a, it, it's a milestone, I guess, as some people would uh, call it. A lot, a lot of people go into that and making, making that though. It's not a one, one person thing, but it's nice, nice. It was a great night. I hadn't had much sleep, but uh, you know, it's just something. I guess you look back a year from now or six months from now and be able to enjoy it more. Um, just it makes you think about all the kids that played. And sometimes you, uh, us coaches are all probably, well, yeah, we could have won this one and we could have maybe even won another one here and there, but we could have lost some of them too. So it all equals out, I guess. That's pretty, that's pretty wild to, to think about, um, 300 wins. It is, because I just, uh, just seemed like yesterday that you was winning the first game and just glad to get, a, get one win. You go from that to 300. <laughs> well, that's uh, kind of a blur. Here, here's something like a little behind the scenes number that I've that popped up to me when I was preparing for today. Um, in your last 18 games, your starter is only giving up three points on defense. That's that's pretty good. Yeah, that. Um, that's pretty good. Can you talk about that a little bit? Cause that's pretty remarkable, man. Those guys. Well, that's just you know I know I've said it a million times about their preparation and the difference in them and and uh, some. Some others, you know, that we've had, uh, that it had to kind of beat it into them sometimes to prepare this this group of guys does it on their own lot. I'm not even sure they need a coach on the sideline. Just turn them loose and let them play. Or, and you know, the thing about them, they're great kids, and they're great kids when you sit down and talk to them, and they'll be great kids when they get out of school. I feel like. They're not perfect, you know. We're living in a in an imperfect world, but you know, people expect them to be, I guess. But they should. But uh, they are uh, quality kids that prepare, and they bottom line is they love the game of football, and and it's going to be uh, tough when when they get close to the end. Yes, sir. Uh, now that group, that got group of seniors there. What is it about these guys that kind of separate themselves? That uh, I mean, you've had some great teams and players and classes, but these guys are well. It's like somebody we was talking last week. Uh, a lot of times you go to our game, we won't win the eye test before the game when you watch teams warm up. A lot over the last twenty-five years, you know, there's a lot of times if you just was a spectator coming to the game and you're gonna pick probably the other team by looking at us, but we actually look pretty good now. Yeah, big. Big guys, tall guys, wide filled guys, out. filled out guys, and they've that's from their hard work and they they believe in the strength and conditioning program that, that we have and, and uh, made a lot of them faster and bigger and definitely stronger. And when you put that with a mindset, as I've always said, the weight room makes football players better, and I think these are guys that. They don't make football players all the time. Sometimes I think it might make a uh, below average kid an average player, of course. But it makes real football players who's got the mind and the heart and soul for it even better. No doubt. And I think that's what you know, this group, the core, the nucleus core of them has. They're pretty solid. Um, they ain't no doubt about solid. that. Uh, Ike's been pretty steady at quarterback. Last night he had 164 yards and and I completed his only pass he threw. Um, Did we throw a pass? He won for, won for one for nine yards. Right. I think it's down there by the going in uh, early in the first half. He, uh, I don't even remember that. <laughs> You're getting on up there, man. Yeah, I'm trying to, <laughs> I'm trying to think uh, when that was. Yeah. He threw it. He think he's one for one for nine yards. But he, uh, Who caught it? Uh, oh, gosh, I can't remember. I don't know who caught I can't remember who caught it. I remember it was on a little rollout to the left. Is that to Eli or near the sideline? No, no. But anyway, 
But it's uh, a good night, right? He's yeah. a playmaker. He's a uh, he. He look. He's a guy that can make a. Uh, <laughs> he is fast. God, uh, He is fast. Uh, my clock says he's fast. Yeah. But he, he can make a a play out of nothing too. When he when he starts scrambling, we have some plays we're designed to scramble. And uh, last night it wasn't one of them, but any time he gets out there in the green grass, I tell him to take off. Yeah, because he, he knows where to go. He's a load too. Once he gets rolling, he is. He's That's a load. Out. It's hard to believe that uh, some colleges hadn't made any offers to him. And, and you got a guy six foot, one hundred eighty five pounds that, that, that runs a four four. It's just hard to believe it. And he's physical. Yeah. 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 I don't know. Or what they're looking for. You definitely play for me. Definitely a safety for sure. I'll take it. Knock your heads off. Now, speaking of load, Mr. Dukes got rolling last night. He had a he, solid performance. Uh, he wasn't hitting that. Uh, Peyton Hop last night. <laughs> he was he was running downhill and had a nice spin move. Talk about Duke's performance. Like good defense too. That's what yeah, I, he did. That's the first thing we and going back to Ike, he, he does that too. They're out there all the time. And Duke's playing a good defensive end. So Brody Dalton. And, Ty Bell steady and Eli steady and Malachi Mize is steady and, and just uh, Justin Stiefel does something every night, you know, that helps you win a game. Had that dude's pretty hang dangerous time. on that running them punt back. His, his hang time on his punts. I believe it. You ever seen anything like that? No, no. <laughs> That's a, that dude's got some hang time, brother. He does. <laughs> um, just offensive line too is, you know, Sylvania. A physical up front. Yeah, for sure. And they came to play, and, and I just uh, believe they'll win a lot of games. Yeah, I, I think so too. Um, now, uh, Mr. Dalton, how disruptive is Mr. that? Mr. Dalton. Yeah, how disruptive is that guy? He's and he's pretty, barreling down on the quarterback. He's pretty disruptive when you're six four. Yeah. Two forty. That's pretty disruptive. That guy, man, when he, at our level, anyway. when he gets. When he gets coming down, he almost quarterbacks. It's a it's a game changer. Well, it's hard to see. It's hard to screen him too because I mean yeah. he's so long and rangy. Yeah, it's, uh, he's got a good future if he keeps you know keeps his head on straight and keeps focusing on getting better and uh, and hit them books a little bit more. Got a bright future. Hope to see him on TV someday. There we go for sure. Now. I know all the great coaches love coachable moments. Last night we had three fumbles, which is very uncharacteristic of Fife, and they got some scores off that. Um, what's practice going to be like when y'all resume? <laughs> uh, well, well, we'll take up for them kids a little bit. They don't get a lot of practice time and a lot of, uh, they don't get to work a whole lot, you know, together. They're usually working against us. Well, we're going to see if we can't work on that a little bit this week and, and look a little bit more respectable, which that's the first time that's happened. Our, our young guys play a lot, and that don't happen. So yeah, we're going to look at that and see. Part of it was, uh, wasn't all the handoff stuff when people just run through the backfield and nobody blocks them. You know, that's a that kind of hurt turnover that. looking to happen. So that's a lot of them linemen that went in there that we're going to see. You, you, when the young guys go in, we'll see if they're even trying to block anybody or if they're not. If they're not, we'll let them watch. You, um, now, like you said, your young guys get to play a good good chunk. Man, how, how important is it to get those guys in and, 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 and actually have these coachable moments, man? I think that's actually help, helpful to a program. Oh, sure. Sure it is. And it makes their practice go by better. But, you know, you have to, uh, you have to want to play hard when you get out there, no matter what age you are. Like I tell them all the time, if you're a bad dog, you'll bite when you're a puppy. And you need to start biting. And, and uh, you know, some of those guys don't never show us anything in practice like they, they need to, and some do. And some out there is getting better. And, and you know, we're trying to get everybody in the game sometimes. When maybe we shouldn't, but, uh, you know, there's some guys there that that can get better and will get better. Absolutely. You go on the road to Brindley Mountain next. Um, is this the first time Fife's played at Brindley Mountain in a long time? No, a long time, yeah. yeah. Back in 07, I think, is their first two teams they was in the region with us. Back in 2006 and 7, I think. And we, we made the trip to Brindley Mountain 
in 07, I believe, or 06 or sometime. They've actually been off the uh, last two weeks due to the COVID, so you don't have too much game film on them, but I mean, no. still a road trip. You got to get ready for them. No, Coach Garner's having a tough time uh, keeping enough guys out there. And, You know, we just try to work on five. There we go. Well, Coach, we appreciate you. We're going to keep this one short and sweet. You uh, got some celebrating to do. And then your wife's birthday's coming up. It is. Yeah. So that is. I ain't going to keep you in here on that day, Coach. Yeah, I'm going to get that straight and make sure I stay on the good side. Of the woman. Good, good Lord willing, and uh, the sun rises. We'll see you next Saturday morning. Thank you.